Well, if you're looking for a simple dinner recipe that will win over the pickiest of eaters, then look no further. Sinead Delahunty is serving up some meatballs this Monday. Firm favourite in lots of mm. houses up and down the country. My house, this, yeah. yeah. Oh, Ooh, yeah, I love it. Well, a little bit of a spin. So I'm using... Um, Little's um, board beer approved um, Irish beef mince this morning. So also adding in then feta. So I know some people like do love their cheese. I'm yeah. using feta, it's nice little punch. Um, really, really nice little punch of flavor in there. And then just some garam masala or cumin. Oh, okay. Um, so really, really nice. Lovely, like kind of so mellow. Not, not typically Italian flavors, no, really, when yeah, you're thinking of definitely basil a switch and mozzarella. Up. Yeah. So it's really, really nice, like just kind of that mellow blend, um, not too spicy, but just a nice little um, different yeah, punch of flavour right. in there. Yeah. Very good. So that's really, really nice to use in like any curries, any kind of dish at all. And I just have my garlic and onions here softening down in some uh, oil. So I'm just going to add in then tinned tomatoes. An egg, sorry. Do you have an egg to bind yeah, the meat we'll together as well? Do yeah, that yeah, later yeah, on. Definitely, you need that in there, yeah. So just going to get in the tomato so this can be mellowing, mellowing down our nice sauce. And the big thing is about um, any, whenever you're using a tin of tomatoes, always rinse it out with some water. So just fill it up with water again. It's because you get like, there's so much juice in there. So really important to get all that out mm. into your sauce. Yeah. And then I just love to use, um, we'll say like plumbed tomatoes. So not the fully chopped up ones. The flavor is a little bit more intense in them. So it's nice just to, they'll break down really, really easily in the in the heat of your and pan. And how long would this sort of take? Because we spoke to you last time about yeah. the football starting up and we're seeing people back training again and needing a simple meal that can kind of cook to prepare itself. and get the kind of the carbs, get the right sort of food into you before that. Exactly, yeah. So this will take 30 minutes in the oven and 15, 20 minutes really with the prep. Okay. You know, so nice and quick, you know, you chop things up, get them going. The big thing is having your um, mince at room temperature. That's a really good thing for like cooking any type of beef. Always have it at room temp. It's going to cook a lot quicker, either on your pan or in the oven. And could you have it prepared? And Definitely, yeah, you could have this thing. all mixed together. So I'm just like seasoning, putting in the garam masala, putting in um, some oats then as well, just to bind in with the meatballs. So um, like your porridge oats that you'd have? Yeah, just regular porridge oats, just pop them in. And then, as, actually, as you were saying earlier, Tommy, um, an egg getting in there to bind that through. Mm. So just really, really easy. So you could have, again, your tomato sauce made. You could have this all mixed through and you could even have them all shaped as well you know, ready on a plate in the oven um, and then just like straight into the oven then when you get home from work or whatever. And then likewise, again, it's going to keep well um, once it's cooled and put into the fridge. You know, so you get again a few days out of it or likewise pop it into the freezer. So really not nice like batch cook again, which is definitely essential for, you know, anyone who has a lot of things on, definitely either be it sport um, or just like a busy household, mm. you know, and like kids on the go. So I'm just adding in some balsamic then into our sauce as well. And some what, sorry? Balsamic vinegar. Oh, vinegar, oh nice. Yeah, so it just really gives another like little depth of flavor. And then some just mixed herbs. So dried mixed herbs. Otherwise, like if you have some uh, fresh herbs at home in the garden, you could pop them in either on your windowsill. Because uh, I definitely know loads of people have been growing their own at home, yeah. which is our herbs are just great little starter. The feta is really nice. I was going to say that, it? yeah. I really like the feta and the meatballs. It's a nice little like hint to something a little bit mm. different. But likewise, you could put like mozzarella in the either, you know. So again, whatever you have and what's whatever your preference How is. How do you get the meatballs? Is it you don't want to cook them too much because whenever I do them, they're always a bit dry. Dry, mm. okay. I think the key is, so like with this tomato sauce, when, you know, it's fully softened down, I'll be putting it into like the bottom of the tray and then I nestle the meatballs into it. Oh. So they kind of nearly like poach in there, it's like simmer oh, in there. I thought you'd add that oh. over, pour it over after, but I, bake it I, all I together. I do it all in the ones. It's nearly like another kind of tray bake, nearly yeah. similar That's style similar. to so what I did poaches last week. Them. Exactly, yeah. So that's why I find like it keeps it nice and moist then. And then again, just getting in like, again, essential and um, just your green leafy veg. So getting some spinach in there and then likewise some butter beans. So again, you could use, you know, any type of beans you have. I love butter beans. They're a little bit more kind of a little bit of bite to them. I don't like butter beans normally, but they're lovely in with the sauce. Yeah. Like sauce I don't eat them because I feel it's healthy, but they're really tasty in this. And again, like just great source of fiber in your diet. 
and just to bulk things out, you know, looks like really, really easy. So um, I always you, pop them in. Could you stick that all in a blender now? You because could, yeah, yeah exactly, yeah, absolutely. If kids, um, I would imagine, yeah, might look the at bench. that, they <laughs> might not be too impressed. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely, They'd yeah, get a your stick blender me. or pop it into like, you know, just a blender jug. So the key then is like once all that's done, just pop it into your whatever kind of an oven dish you have, like a big lasagna dish now is absolutely perfect for this. And then it's just a matter of shaping your, your meatballs together. So I'm just going to use some gloves to Would save the hands. Would that be suitable for burgers? Oh, if definitely. If you just wanted to actually put Yeah, it exactly. Yeah, pot, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just make bigger ones, flatten them down um, a little bit more. So I just get a, um, a tablespoonful of each mix. And then just, if you're, you know, obviously you can wear gloves at home, but otherwise just dampen your hands and then you're just making like a golf ball shape. Yeah, and that's what annoys me about doing mints. It leaves that kind of oily feeling in your hands. Okay, you know, so dampen the hands first, yeah, yeah, and it won't stick to your hands then either. You'll yeah. just like really get like a really nice, easy shape. You've um, put potatoes in ours. I have. So, you know, traditionally a lot of people would eat spaghetti or pasta with their um, meatballs. So I've just popped in some spuds, literally just chopped them up peeled, uh, didn't even peel them, just gave them a little scrub and just popped them in. And, and again, these roast through. boiled at all, just nope. they cook at the same time as everything yeah, else? exactly. But likewise, I, I definitely think you could probably put like pasta into this as well. Mm. When you're making the sauce, even boil the pasta up with that, you need another, probably a bit of water, but it'd be a nice experiment to try at home. And you'd have your pasta meatball bake then instead. And how long is this going for? 30 minutes at 180. 30 minutes at 180, yeah. right. And the mince at the minute is actually on special um, in Lidl. So again, it's all board beer, Irish proof. So really, really good. Um, my dad's a beef and farmer at home. So uh, it's really important to support Irish. Do you want lean Irish. mints or do you want kind of the Yeah, the in terms of the fat, fat content percentage. So this percentage is 4%. So again, it is quite lean. We're adding in the feta. So you're getting a really nice um, balance there of like flavors and, and fat is essential for our flavor, you know? So we, we all know butter makes most things taste fabulous. Oh, no. oh sure it does. So likewise, um, yeah, the four percent is just a nice one to work with for for these um, meatballs or any kind of a burger. I have to say, it's lovely. It I would imagine really though, for a lot of people with the sauce and stuff, though, that whizzing it together, have it real tomatoey without the, the the big bits and the beans. Yeah, certainly for kids, I find I have to disguise everything. Any yeah. tiny bit of then vegetable. it's perfect. Yeah, just pop your stick blender in. They're great, you know, and just blitz it all down, and then really into the oven. Tasty. We go. Lovely stuff. It was yeah, thanks so much. That was delicious. Yeah. Great recipe. Mm. Mm, very good. Right, time for a quick break, but up after nine, the Soul Coach will have advice on how to awaken the power within. And no longer just a schoolyard game, we'll be picking up some skipping ropes and burning off our meatball breakfast. We'll see you in three.